Welcome to Return to Athens. Today, the end of the road for a champion, the beginning for some others. Sydney Games Golden Girl, Cathy Freeman, is retiring from athletics after losing her desire to win. The famous Australian had previously indicated that she'd hoped to defend her Olympic title in Athens, but in a press interview she said she no longer felt the hunger to win and that her heart was no longer in the sport. Despite the inconsistencies of recent years though, her position among the greats of Australian sport is sure to remain forever. It was a different girl back in 2000 when asked about winning gold in front of her home crowd. Last night, big night, big night. I'm um, amazing. One of the happiest moments of, of my life, actually. Of my life, because I, my family was so happy. My husband was in tears, my mother, my brothers, my nephew. Um, who were there, who were there in the, in the stadium. And I, I kind of sense that I made a lot of people happy, so that made me feel really good. <laughs> it's been written in Australian Olympic history. And is it the greatest feeling? I don't know if it gets any better than this. Um, I don't care too much about searching for that answer to that question. All I know is that it's a wonderful, wonderful time in my life. <laughs> Freeman, who as a schoolgirl used to run in bare feet along dry riverbeds, was only 16 when she won her first major gold medal in the 4 by 100 metres relay at the 1990 Commonwealth Games. She went on to become Australia's first Aboriginal track and field Olympic athlete at the 1992 Games in Barcelona and two years later took the Commonwealth 200 and 400 metre gold medals in Canada. Kathy Freeman's Sydney 400 metre victory is indelible in Olympic circles, but not only did she win gold, she also lit the Olympic cauldron in 2000, a moment etched in sporting minds for all time. <laughs> Athletics is the most successful sport in Morocco and has produced several Olympic champions at recent games. But these Moroccan athletes have decided to turn their backs on their country of birth in an attempt to acquire Belgian nationality. You have to with the problems there. The club never gave you anything. They don't expect anything. There's no future for runners in Morocco. I know athletes who are established and run regularly in the Golden League, but come to me and ask how to get Belgian nationality. I can't tell you who they are, but yes, they are Golden League athletes, famous as well as champions. Like all Olympic hopefuls, these young athletes are hungry for success. They yearn for the elusive gold medal around their neck. But they argue this has been made more difficult under the current athletics authorities in Morocco. Mounia Belhassan is one of the Moroccan athletes who has managed to earn the right to represent Belgium. The challenge for any athlete who reaches a certain level of performance is to continue developing. Athletes want to improve their performances and compete in international meetings. In Morocco, the level of local competition doesn't help them to produce their best times. So remember to keep watching Return to Athens as we bring you the latest in the behind-the-scenes news and views in the lead-up to Athens 2004.